Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to the channel for yet another video about using DaVinci Resolve. It's been a while since I've been doing these tutorials, so hopefully I'll not be too rusty in doing so. So the main reason I am doing this very quick tutorial is that DaVinci Resolve just got a update. So we are now on version 2.0 and there's some great new features in the new update. So the one thing or the one plugin I want to have a look at today is the beauty plugin. And that is unfortunately only available in the studio version. Um, so that is the paid version. But luckily on eBay right about now, you can find some of the old dongles people are selling for pretty much half the price of the license. And the thing is, if you buy one of these dongles, they will last forever. Blackmagic will not charge you for an update. So when we are going to move to DaVinci Resolve 16 in the future, you can use the exact same license. Also, if you get a dongle for Fusion, that would work too. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Let's go to the editing suite and start to use the new plugin. Let's go. Okay, so let's have a look at the, the effects here. So first off, I'll just add a new note by Control S, and then we'll go over to the effects uh, library here and go down to our effect, which is the Resolve Redefine effect. And here we have the face refinement uh, plugin and the new uh, beauty plugin, and we'll just add that to the note. And what this will do, it will add everything to the con whole image. So now it's a bit blurry. And for instance, if we want to do only something with the skin tones, we can just go to the qualifier and again, hit the highlighter here and then just drag on the face and try to select the colors we want. Again, this is super fast. So let's see if we can... Take this down a notch. Okay, for the, um, we'll just denoise it a bit here and uh, clean it out a bit. So I'm not going to use a lot of time on that because that's not the point of the tutorial. So, so now the face is selected and um, if we go over to the, to the settings here, we can um, either we can smooth it out like that, which is not good, or we can sharpen the the area just like that and then we can find something we like we can just something like that and then of course we can also mess around with the the over the settings here okay so we can also recover texture by adding texture like that so now these freckles will be very visible or we can smooth it out by dragging the other way i for a fact would like to have something like this and then we also have the texture threshold which we can then how much threshold we want to give the effect i think something like that and then of course we can also blend the thing together um if we want to blend it with the original image, we can do that. So maybe we want to do something like that. Okay, again, this is just a super quick video about one of the new features in the new DaVinci Resolve. And if we go to the Edit tab, we can see the comparison here. And here we have the clip without the effect. And here we have it with the effect. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.